So, um, we're back. This is gonna be a part two. This is our part two of it. Um, you don't have to necessarily watch the first one, but um, do definitely watch it after this one. And then also the If you haven't, yeah. But um, basically, we're running out of storage, so um, one of our devices, so we have to switch over to the other one. So, yeah, we're doing that now. I get to stand here so I don't get close by a stick. The handlebar is still stuck from the bike. It's only been like a couple minutes. And it's still flowing. They're gonna hit me with the sticks, by the way. The bike can get out now, finally. Oh, look, I found a seat right here. So I guess it really is a full bike. Oh, yeah, I can see the seat, guys. Wait, right there, you can see the brand name, the tiny bit. Right there. Boop. Boop. Right there. Let's see if you can get it out. I doubt it. It looks really lodged in there, but you never know. Free bike. So unclogged the culvert. Even though we've been doing this for like 40 minutes now almost. So yeah. Technically it's weird. It's like a it's a culvert. We're unclogging the culvert. But the clog was a beaver dam. But yeah. So we're gonna call it Beaver Dam for this video. Cause Beaver Dam, we don't really do those as often, but they're very interesting to see. Cause you wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily get clogged this much most of the time without beavers. But we know it is beavers too. Are you working to try to get the bike out?
Make sure we still have a way to get out. Yep. Yeah. Dog unplugging covert strategy. I'm just joking, but yeah. What would you think if there was a game show where they unplugged covert? <laughs> Try it as fast as possible. That'd be pretty cool. They got rated on how well they did it and how fast. That'd be funny. If you, guys are this, you guys are the judges, come take it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, what, are we, what are you saying for this video? What star this game show get? Or this contestant in the game show get? Okay, let's do it. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today on the Colbert Unclogging Game Show, we have our one of our contestants. If anybody Colbert. can hear us, let's spam Potent's comment, giving, hoping I can get a shout out. Say hash, hashtag, no, no, not oh, hashtag, because he might have a link. Let's say shout out, Ogenite. And if you see any comments with that, like the comment of them. If you see any other people that have commented with that, shout out odds and ends, like their comment too. Okay, we'll so post the ends, we'll more likely see it. Post 10 might be very confused or know exactly what we're doing. But it'll be funny either way. So yeah, do it. Bike's getting a lot more loose. Yep, because that was like around it. Should we um sell it? Maybe. <laughs> oh guys, do you guys want to buy the bike? Odds and end certified I stole it from inside of a found found it inside of Beaver Dam. I don't think it feel like you've saved the plant by not letting it go in the waterway. Yeah. Should we um put it on eBay? If we do, we'll put a link to it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Put it on bid, someone can buy it for like three dollars maybe, unless someone like, hey, I want that, I'll pay four hundred dollars for it. Probably not, probably go for two dollars, if any. But yeah, let's see it. So one thing now is it's drained a lot more, and it's also a lot wider the area where it's draining, so the water flow from the area yeah. up here is not as much. Yeah. Like before, I would stand here and the water would be going way higher, would be going higher off. I would see my meat there, I would stand in front of the turn, it's pretty strong. But now it's not really that bad at all. So you could just easily walk through it. Should we do double unclog? Huh? Alright, any unclog too? Sure. Let's see if I can. Yes, exactly. Comment, everyone, comment. Cameraman muscle is love. That's what we're doing now. I can't even get anything. I'm doing one hand time holding the camera. The other one. do now is you can see that area of the culvert right over there area up here it's right next to a road the roads like back up like like 15 feet probably so it's at least it's part away
I'm gonna walk back here. Now you can see they're all flowing down here. But our little island, I'm I'm pretty sure it's from the last one. This little stuff here. <laughs> little island of duckweed, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure though. Push it down. Sunset. Not really. It's like six o'clock. It's like in the summer. So almost. Actually, not really. Well, technically it is. Cause it's like mid September. So yeah. Technically still in the summer. I'm fairly sure. But still acts like it. But most people consider it fall or autumn. Bike must get out. You have to get it out. You can see the reflector, right? And the brakes. I I don't even do you think this will still work even the bike? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. The only question is whose bike is this? That's and how did they get here? Did someone like put their bike on their front lawn and like got blown by the wind somehow into a creek so I'll throw it in when they didn't want it. How? Out the ball. You're getting the bike out, nice. What happened? Sadly, Thorn, probably from like a rose or a thorn bush or blackberry bush or something, got in his bone. Too sad. But we do have a lot of, especially blackberry bushes around here. Like a lot of them. But invasive is fine if they're not good. But yeah. So that's probably what happened. So a lot of the sticks, they just like, they don't look like they do. Like this, 
this? Yeah, this doesn't have anything that I'm putting in it. I'm not sure though. But some do. So yeah, they can hurt a little. Cows too, I feel like, especially. Yeah, cows took that. So, Let's yeah. Let's appreciate that view right there. Oh, the duck. Hey, also, with this is, I think, on high waters, all of these two ponds are combined. 
If anything, it's just gonna open, make Bethany Pond bigger. Yeah, that's the pond right near that this is flowing to. It's Oregon somewhere. I can't tell you where. <laughs> well, someone could probably look. Well, they'll over. have to work for it. They'll <laughs> have to work for it. Okay, let's go back in. Yeah. Now, ugh. so it seems very like muddy. Get the mud off my sandals. But yeah, all right, where are we on clogging now? Are we clogging that? Like, I don't think so. I think we're going to enjoy the view. Enjoy the view? Are going to have like a five hour time left to sit here? Sure. I doubt for five hours. So no. let's sit here for a little. Well, we can do light unclogging. Yeah, light unclogging with a uh, nice view of water flowing. Subscribers. He has like more than three subscribers. So that means he's very cool. And we also have more than three subscribers, so that means we're also very cool. Right? And he has like 20, he has like 300,000 or three? I think it's 400,000. Yeah, something, a lot more than us, but that would be a I'm gonna stand like kinda out here. So I don't, my back is broken because I'm too tall for this. This is like a five foot cohort. Look at me, Wait, I'm standing sorry. up straight. And, the, and there's concrete on, well not concrete, it's, 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 it's precast concrete, that's why you see this, review, great seal, good precast concrete, granted this is not super old, but it's, you know, at least 20 years old, that right there, goes to a swale over there, for street water, so, yeah, overall it's super cool, uh -huh. look at that, how much water we drain. Yeah, the ducks are probably like, what's happening? But don't worry, they have, they have a pond over there that's Yeah, there are actually normally a lot more ducks down there. You can there. see where the water level is normally. You can see the line right here. They that's probably, why we did it now, because tomorrow's going to rain a lot. And we needed to do it now when the water level was low, or else it would just be too dangerous. It would just get really tall. And it would, just really be, high, and it would be too risky. Yeah, it would probably flow over the edge. And Risk management. If anything happened, we would have dropped on this and one of us would climb in that hole. One of us would live. And the yeah. other might live. But at the same time, the deepest part of our pond yeah. is like 60. We're kind of joking. Because um, the water level where it normally is, that's where it would normally be. But the, like, look. This is where the water level is upon. It wasn't, we're unlikely to have like a flash flood, so right there, look how much. This is like my hand for context against the side. So that's a lot of room for our head to be if it did actually happen to do that. Which it wouldn't, because when it starts falling out here, it's going to drain the pond up there. It's not going to continuously just fill there and then, like, unless it got like somehow flawed at the end. Like that's, that, that's not going to happen. I'd be like saying, hey, what if a bird has a nuclear bomb and flies down and blows everyone up? Like, I'd be Chernobyl all over again. 
<laughs> don't worry, don't worry, guys. Um, not controversial. Don't, 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 don't cancel us for this. Anyways, yeah. Ah. Uh, so what are we doing now? I think. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I think. Uh. It's hard to decide, but I think we're gonna end it. End um, it here. Yeah. The so my- cameraman wants to. He can. Take a picture and put it on one of the first part of the video. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, possibly when it's drained out completely. Because we're going to be here enjoying it. And I think we're going to end it here just because, uh, yeah. If, if you were here for the for the end, you know that you enjoyed it. So please like and subscribe. Yeah. And comment. Let's just get one last view until we're going to end the video. And also, and yes. this is almost. Oh, this is my concrete stuff, and I'm stepping on concrete right now, so I have to hold it completely. Yeah. Until here. Yeah, and then after that, it, 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 I'm standing here, right there. And then it goes, woo! And then it drops off. And yeah. I can um, feel the edge of the concrete go straight down. It's not undermining, so that's great. Yeah. It's not going to go under the concrete. Because this concrete doesn't go all the way down to the um, bottom of the world. Did they push these in tiles? Because there's little um, divots in them, like sidewalks. Yep. That's where. Oh, yeah, these wheels are great. And this is how they put them in one piece at a time. Mm-hmm. Alright, I think we're going to end it. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys on the next one. Bye.